What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Unleashed Blading video. Uh, just a quick video here, this isn't going to be long at all. Um, in today's kind of breakdown of the new event, I spoke about how there was some new Kirito armor. I did not know it was already in-game via April Fool's uh, mission, so I want to make a video so no one uh, misses out on it, because they don't really like make a huge deal of this. It's not like some events where... You know, something will pop up on screen when you first boot up the game. Uh, it's just kind of something they put into the news, uh, which, you know, me, uh, along with a lot of other people, I'm sure you don't check every single thing that they put here, because they put a ton of stuff in here. But, as part of the April Fool's campaign, which I guess this whole uh, fantasy setting is being treated as an April Fool's thing, um, the whole campaign goes until the end of the month, uh, so it's a pretty long campaign, but I just wanted to go over everything so everyone is aware of what we kind of have here. So here is the armor I was talking about, Armor of the Demon Lord. I think this pretty much confirms Kirito will be getting a water unit with this Dark King Kirito. And then there's also the Armor of the Chosen One, which is also which is obviously the, uh, the Yuki armor. Uh, so we will be able to, I mean, we already can uh, if you feel like grinding it out. Uh, kind of start to get some of this stuff. So pretty cool there. Uh, it's nice to have some more R4 armor, uh, for sure. Uh, more is always going to be better. Uh, let's take a look at some of the R stuff in here, and then we're going to look at the missions that you need in order to unlock some of this stuff. So it looks like we get... Uh, I mean, this isn't the same stuff. I don't know why they're saying this like it's something new. Uh, free on Saturday, Sunday, 11 times polls now available. It goes until... The 1st of May, which is going to be close to the 2.5 anniversary, so it makes sense. They're probably going to update the uh, weekend, or just the free pull in general that we get every day, uh, probably by the uh, 2.5. Um, of course, you know, same thing here with your daily free scout. Uh, special login. Uh, this is the login bonus we've already kind of been getting. Oh, choose oh that's actually real okay i might actually grab oh that's gonna be tough i i don't know who i'm gonna want to grab with that so obviously choosable four star take 124 characters i assume it's gonna go up to the current kind of point which means it should go up to mito still i don't think they've updated it uh i actually didn't look we can look at the yuki banner right now and see if they updated it but if it still goes up to mito I might just grab Mito just... I don't think I really need her, obviously. fire My fire team is fine. Um, but she is kind of uh, unique in that she's probably not going to get too many variants. So, Oh, and there is a part two as well. Oh, and we get a second uh, select ticket during the second week. Okay. Oh, but okay, so it's not immediately right after. So this is the first login. It goes until... So if you've been logging in every day by the 7th of Ma of April, you'll have uh, the first selectable ticket. And then 10 days after that, we'll get another one that'll be for the second half of the month. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'll grab Mito with the first ticket, assuming she's in it, which I'm sure she will be. And then with the second ticket, I don't know. I don't want to grab Progressive Kirito. I feel like that's unnecessary. Um... You know, if Klein was in the pool, I would definitely grab him, but it's way too soon for that, especially with how we're now... F well, we were starting to finally get non-limited units, but now we're back to limited, so the pool is uh, not growing again. Um, I guess I could grab seven. I still don't have seven, so I guess I could grab her four-star. Um, so that's pretty much it for the campaign stuff. Now let's go ahead and really quickly not do that. Um, over here in the Grand Quest Fantasy, this is supposed to be like the April Fool's thing. There are a bunch of missions. I've actually completed some of them already, so you're not going to see all of them. But the simple stuff, if you want it, you can very easily get all the armor right now. Like if you want all five copies, uh, just do a ton of enhancement missions and spend a ton of BP. Um... If you want to have it done today, you can definitely do that. And then, of course, a lot of these uh, diamond missions are stuff to uh, you got to do kind of over time. Now, I do want to talk about this. Now, obviously, we know the Sinon, Leafa, and Silica that are kind of like home screen stuff don't really apply here. But I guess they could still get units if they're wanting us to use them. 
Um, Adis, stop. I'm trying to talk here. Um, but Liz is on here as well. Liz is not getting a home screen character as far as we're aware, unless she's going to get one with the Kirito when he drops, but, um... Stop! <laughs> so annoying. It should only be when I click on you. Anyways, you get the idea here. Um, these are all the missions you want to do. Make sure you're doing daily missions if you want this uh, Grand Quest Fantasy uh, artwork. This is uh, home background. Very, very cool looking. Uh, so, yeah. That is pretty much everything, Adis. I swear to God. Stop. <laughs> Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make a quick little video talking about the April Fool's campaign that's going on for this month. And, uh, I wonder if there's any way, is there any way for me to even look? I guess we could look here. Yeah, like, this would be, this would be the pool that we would be able to kind of select from. So, yeah, it goes up to Mito. So, Mito is, uh, someone I'd definitely consider grabbing. Um... The non-elemental is kind of Cheta wouldn't be the worst thing to grab, or even the Renly. But I think realistically, I'm going to grab the... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm probably either... I'm going to grab Mito with the first ticket, and then, yeah, I'll probably grab Seven with the uh, second ticket, because at this point, my teams are good enough to where I just want to grab characters who aren't going to get a ton of variants. In case they ever add more of those missions... Uh, they haven't done it since, you know, forever ago, but we had those missions where it was like, use this character this many times to get a bunch of diamonds. Uh, I feel like they might eventually do that again, but who knows at this point. And the last thing I did want to check is on Yuki's banner, if they did update the pool at all. Let's see if it still just goes down to Mito. Okay, no, they added the, uh... Christmas Administrator. Uh, the one we got for around, like, Christmas, New Year's time. So, okay. So, they did update that a little bit. So, that will be, like, the only character that's not going to probably be part of this uh, ticket select. I mean, she might. You never know. Uh, these ticket select might be a uh, newer kind of thing. But, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know how you're uh, enjoying this event so far. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.